Now, see, it hasn't been easy for me to give this jackal empathy. I was wanting to jump in and educate her, but the way you're asking for it, jackal, I think is going to make it hard for people to give it to you. See, I've wanted to say that almost every time. So I had to take a deep breath and realize empathic connection before education. Now is not the time to educate, that the way you're asking for it's going to make it pretty hard for somebody without super-powered giraffe ears to hear your needs. Question on that. Doesn't, doesn't this situation require some kind of resolution or solution? Yes, or yes, a, and almost yes. And the resolution, the solution will find us when the connection is there. Now, what connection? You see... Here's your wife's needs. Here's your needs. When she hears your needs without hearing any criticism or demand, and you hear her needs without any criticism and demand, the solution will find you. The conflict will resolve itself. It does need to be resolved. But what most of us do, we skip this and go right to here. For example, I sometimes do uh, workshops just with uh, married couples or other people living together in a love relationship. And what we do to begin the workshop we identify the couple who has had a conflict, the longest outstanding conflict that could not be resolved. <laughs> and I make a prediction, and it's right, my prediction has been accurate in, in maybe, I'm sure, at least 75% of the cases. But my prediction is this, that we will resolve the conflict within 20 minutes. Within 20 minutes from the point at which both parties can tell me what the other party is needing. Okay? Now, one time we found a couple married 39 years. 39 years had a conflict, had not been able to resolve this conflict. The wife said to me, Marshall, I can tell you right now, we're not going to be able to resolve this within 20 minutes. We have a good marriage, we communicate well, uh, but this is just one of those things that we're different people and we just have a conflict here. Now I said, let me correct one thing. I didn't say we're going to resolve it within 20 minutes. I said within 20 minutes from the point at which you can both tell me what the other party is needing. Oh, she said, Marshall, when you've been married 39 years and you've talked about something almost every day, uh, I can tell you uh, we understand each other. The problem isn't that. We're just two different people in this issue. Well, I said, I've been wrong before. I can sure be wrong this time, but let's see. We'll find out within 20 minutes. So first, tell me what his needs are in this situation. He doesn't want me to spend any money. He responds immediately, that's ridiculous. <laughs> 39 years of communication. Now, first of all, doesn't want me to spend any money is not a need. See, needs and strategies need to be separated. They had been talking about how much money she could spend and not spend, and, but the more important issue there was whether, see, whether who takes care of the checkbook. He unilaterally controlled the checkbook, which was really the main issue between them. See, but that's, I'm saying I don't even want the couple to talk about the strategies or the solutions until the connection is there. When the connection is there, the conflicts usually resolve themselves. So I pointed out to her, no, that's not a need. And even if it was, notice he's saying that's not accurate. But she said, okay, let me then tell you what his needs are, Marshall. You see, he's just like his own father. They both have a depression mentality when it comes to money. I, oh, said, stop, stop. 
now I'm hearing psychoanalytic jackal. You're, you're, you know, and I was going to take another 39 years if you get into that. No, I'm not asking for an analysis of his personality. I'm saying, what are his needs? She didn't know. After 39 years, she had no awareness, consciousness of his needs. So I said to him, okay, well, she doesn't uh, know. Why don't you tell her? Well, Marshall, uh, let me tell you what her needs are. You see, she's a lovely woman, lovely woman, wonderful mother, a wonderful wife. But when it comes to money, she's totally irresponsible. Here comes another 39 years, you see. <laughs> I ask for a need, and he gives me a diagnosis. And, of course, she immediately says, that's unfair. I said, hold it, hold it, hold it. So, I could see they didn't have a need literacy, so I had to loan them my ears. So, with giraffe ears, of course, I'm conscious that all judgments, she's totally irresponsible, is a tragic expression of an unmet need. You see? So, if she would have had these ears, they would have been able to resolve this in the first year of their marriage. But she didn't. She was taking it personally. So, I helped them out. I said, when you say she's irresponsible, are you feeling frightened and need to be sure the family is protected economically? He said, that's exactly what I mean. Well, that wasn't what he's been saying for 39 years. But he didn't know how to say his feelings and needs. Okay, so I've got his needs identified. He was scared, wanted to protect the family economically. I turned to his wife and said, could you tell me back what you heard him say? But because I did, you know, one time I overdrew the checkbook when we were, you know, first married. Now he thinks, I said, excuse me. Excuse me. So said, Notice what the first word that she said was. But. See, she doesn't know the cardinal giraffe rule. Never put your butt in the face of an angry person. <laughs> See. See. I said, what are his feelings and needs? But, no, 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 no. What are his feelings and needs? Want me to repeat them? Yeah. I hear him saying he's scared. Well, but, no, hold it, hold it, hold it. <laughs> calm down, calm down. <laughs> hear his feelings and needs. See, but after 39 years of enemy image, it's not easy for somebody to shift these images, you see. Once we get one of these images in our mind of the other person's wrongness, even when they are expressing their needs, we don't hear it. These enemy images are hard to get past, you see. So she's been seeing him as cheap and having this depression mentality for 39 years. See? So she can't see the human being behind her image. I said, let me repeat it again. I hear him saying he's scared because he needs some to protect the fa and needs to protect the family economically. Can you say back, yeah, he thinks I'm irresponsible. Let's try it again. After three more re repetitions, finally, she could hear his needs and feelings separate from her judgments. Finally. Yes. Did you try to um, empathize with her at any point, or did you just keep repeating his need and try to get her to yes. hear it. Yes. Uh, after I had tried twice to get her to hear it, I could see she was in too much pain to hear him. So I had to do what I was just demonstrating like this. Actually, I had needed to give her some emergency first aid empathy. So you, you did do that. Right? Before I could pull her by the ears to get her to hear him. So if after I tried two times to pull the jackal by the ears, it's hard to do that because he keep trying to bite, you know, then... Uh, then I back off. So it really hurts when you hear criticism. And, yes, yes, I mean, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, and so you really need to be trusted. And, yeah. Okay. Now I'd like to repeat what he said, and I'd like to have you tell me back what he heard. So yeah, I did have to do a little bit of cleaning up the mess before I could. See, every image that she's heard in the past, every criticism, which she'd heard for years she was irresponsible, now it's hard for her to hear the need that was being expressed all along behind that. So finally I get her to hear his feelings and needs. Okay, we're halfway through. Now this much took me an hour. Okay, now I try to help her. So could you tell me now what your needs are? 
Well, just because I made them, you know, I overdrew the checkbook, you know, before, you know, that doesn't mean I'm going to do it again. He said, yes, but we could be out of money, but excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. <sighs> so, you're really frustrated, and if I hear you correctly, you have a need for some trust that you can learn how to handle money. Yes. Okay. Husband, could you tell me back? Yeah, and we'll be out of money by then. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> Can you tell me what her feelings and needs are? Would you like me to repeat it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> About three more repetitions. He hears her. It didn't take 20 minutes to resolve it at that point, you see. Whenever I go into situations where there's been a lot of conflict, I don't even allow the people to talk about strategies until they're connected at the heart level. I was working with two tribes in northern Nigeria one Christian tribe and one Muslim tribe. One quarter of the population killed in one year. One out of four people killed. It took my colleague six months to get them to agree to come into a room together. During that six months, 60 people killed. So by the time it took us to get everybody into a room together, 60 people killed. So now it's not a husband and wife I have on opposite ends of the table, but the chiefs of two tribes. I start the same way I did with the husband and wife. Uh, I'd like to hear you express your needs. What needs are not being met? I'm pretty much guessing ahead of time I'm not going to get an answer to my question. Because if people had been communicating at the need level, there wouldn't have been 100 people dead. So I wasn't surprised when instead of getting an answer to my question, I got this back. These people are murderers! Well, you've been trying to dominate us! See, I ask for needs, I get back diagnoses. So just as with the husband and wife, I put my ears on, and translate each statement into a need, get the other side to hear it. It wasn't easy. I had to do a lot of first aid empathy to get, because like when I got this person behind murderers was, so you are frightened of any use of violence to resolve conflict and want some agreement to resolve it in some other way? Yes, exactly. Okay. Could you say back what you heard? Then why did you kill my child? So it wasn't too easy. But anyway, after about, it took about an hour again for me to get one need expressed, one need heard, one need expressed, one need heard. And one of the chiefs who hadn't spoken yet said to me, if we know how to communicate this way, we won't have to kill each other. See, it just took one hour to see that if they can just stay connected at the heart level, nobody has to die. There's plenty of resources for getting everybody's needs met. But we lose that when we get up into our head and start to analyze wrongness.